In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed your Instagram posts and feed on your WordPress website in beautiful feeds like this. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. I'll be demonstrating using the pro version of the plugin, but we do have a free version available in the WordPress repository, but with less features. To purchase and download Instagram Feed Pro, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your license key and download link for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Next, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on Add New. Then at the top, click on Upload Plugin and upload the zip file for Instagram Feed Pro like this and click Install Now. Once installed, click Activate Plugin. And as you can see, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated on our WordPress website. But before we can get started with our first Instagram feed, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Instagram Feed. Hover over it like this and click on Settings. Inside the plugin settings, beside license key, you can go ahead and enter the license key from your Smash Balloon account like this and click activate. And now that our license key has been activated, we can begin creating our first Instagram feed. Once again, on the left hand side under Instagram feed, click on all feeds. Then go and click on add new. And this will take us into the first step. With Instagram Feed Pro, you can create several different feed types. You can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. For this video, we're gonna use the user timeline feed that's already selected for us here. So we can go click on next. Now we'll have to add the source for our Instagram feed. Go click on add source. And here you'll have to select the option that corresponds with your Instagram account. The account we want to display in this video is a business account. So I'm going to click on business. And now it's asking if we've connected a Facebook account using the plugin before. I'm going to click on no. Then I'm going to click on connect with Facebook. This will take you to Facebook and on this page, you should see all the Instagram accounts associated with your Facebook account. Go ahead and select the one you want to display inside your Instagram feed like this and click on next. Then we'll also have to select the Facebook page associated with that Instagram account. Select it like this and click next. Lastly, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Instagram and Facebook accounts. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on our behalf. So it's completely safe. So you can go click on done and click on OK. Now you'll get a security confirmation asking you to confirm if this is your domain. Click on yes, it's my domain. And back inside your WordPress dashboard, you should see all the Instagram accounts connected with the plugin. Go ahead and select the one you want to add as a source like this and click on add. Then select it as a source and click on next. And for our final step, you can select from one of these professionally designed templates for the layout of your Instagram feed. You have options like the default, simple grid, simple row, and several more below. For this video, let's continue with the card grid template. You can select it like this and click next. And in just a matter of minutes, you should see a beautiful preview of your new Instagram feed. In this feed, you should see all the latest posts from the Instagram account you connected. In this example, it's the Smash Balloon Instagram account. This feed is now ready to be embedded on our WordPress webpage, but let me show you how we can customize this. On the left hand side under the customize tab, click on feed layout. You can see that we currently have the grid layout selected. This means that our posts are shown in rows and columns like this. Next, we also have the carousel layout, which allows you to swipe through your Instagram posts like this. After that, we also have the masonry layout, which displays your posts in rows and columns once again, but in their original sizes. And lastly, we also have the highlight layout, which highlights your latest posts in a larger size, followed by the rest of the posts in a grid layout. For this video, let's continue with the grid layout we selected earlier. And if you look down below, you can specify the number of posts you want to display on desktop and mobile. To change this, all you have to do is enter the number of posts you want to display, just like this, and right away that change will be made inside your live preview on the right hand side. And below that, you can also choose how many columns you want to display on desktop, tablet, and mobile. To change this, all you have to do is drop it down like this, and select the number of columns you want to display. And once again, the change will be made immediately inside the live preview. I'm going to change this back to 4, and if you're happy with the changes to the feed layout, go click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Instagram feed, go into color scheme on the left hand side. Currently, it's set to inherit from theme, which means that it automatically matches the design of your website. Next, we have a light theme, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. Once you're happy with the color scheme for your Instagram feed, go click on save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want complete control to moderate the content displayed in your feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters and moderation. And if you click on moderate your feed and enable it, you can see that we have the allow list and block list in moderation mode. Inside the allow list, all your posts will be hidden apart from the ones you choose to display manually inside your feed like this. Alternatively, if you're using the block list, all your posts will be shown by default apart from the ones you choose to manually hide on your feed. I'm going to disable this and if we head back into filters and moderation and just below, you can add filters to show or hide posts containing those words. You can also choose to display specific post types such as photos, feed videos, and reels. This way, you have complete control of the content you display inside your Instagram feed. And if you add any filters, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize a feed of your Instagram posts, let me show you how you can embed it on your WordPress website. To do that, all you have to do is click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, 
select the page you want to add your feed to and click on add. This takes us into a WordPress web page. To embed our feed, you have two different options. First option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode that we just copied earlier, like this. Alternatively, if you're using block editor, you can use a dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, you'll see a live preview of your Instagram feed directly inside your WordPress web page. We can now click on update and have a look at what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle we can see that beautiful new Instagram feed that we just created. All the latest posts from the Smashable Instagram account are displayed in this feed, and if we click on load more at the bottom, it loads even more posts directly inside our WordPress web page. But if you want to learn how to embed your Instagram feed inside the sidebar or port of your WordPress website, let me show you how. Back inside the plugin, all you have to do is click on embed once again, copy your dedicated shortcode, then instead of clicking on add to a page, click on add to a widget. This will take you into the WordPress widgets menu. And in this example, let's add our Instagram feed to the footer of our website. And if we open up our footer widget, we have the same two options to embed our feed. We can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we just copied like this, or you can use a dedicated Instagram feed block like this. And with this option, once again, you'll see a live preview of your Instagram feed directly inside the footer builder widget. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. Now we're back on the live web page and right in the middle, we have that Instagram feed we created earlier in the grid layout. And if I scroll down all the way to the footer of the website, you can now see our second Instagram feed directly inside the footer of our website. So you now know how to embed your Instagram posts and feed on your WordPress web page in beautiful and responsive feeds. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.